Hi, my name is Yehuda Tomar Kellyanne. Thank you so, so much for, um, for making this work. Um, I'm just trying to get the right screen here. Um, it was, it's, I, I'm, I, I own the brand called Kulu and um, we have a lot of fun with it. So let's sh share the screen here. I think this screen is here. How you doing, Boris? But everyone I'm good, I'm good. Can you see my screen? I just shared a screen. Can everyone see that? Not yet, we're still seeing you. You're still seeing me. Yes. Let's take a, let's try to go on to the screen. Share a screen, share a thing, share two, share. And here we go. Does that work? Perfect. Yep, perfect. All right, here we are. So um, we're here to talk about Kulu cocktails. Kulu is an ice pop. It's actually quite cool. Um, hence the name called Kulu. It's a cocktail that's in a pop you take them, you throw them in the freezer, and you got yourself a frozen cocktail. Uh, the idea behind this is actually the opposite from all the other cocktails out there. We started um, Kulu. We actually wanted to be an RTD back in 2016 when RTDs wasn't a thing ready to drink. No one was having these ready to drink stuff. And our market research told us that the reason why no one likes RTD was actually because the no one, it, it, it's stale, no, everyone wants a fresh drink. So we created an ice pop that's frozen and gives some freshness to it. Fast forward to now, RTD is a, is, is a huge market and everyone is really loving it. Um, so we were positioned in a great position to take over, to take in that ice pop market. If you see what we are focused on is on the cocktail aspect, not always on the, on the ice pop cocktail, on the ice pop concept, but more on the cocktail where real cocktails were Mai Tai, Paloma, Pina Colada, a gin and tonic where a real cocktail, we're gonna have bold flavors and, and, uh, and uh, real spirits. Everything's gonna be real about it. So I just wanna walk through a little bit about this. Why are tasting so important? So tasting is not only for the single sale, um, tasting is really um, builds the brand. You engage with the consumer, you talk about the product. And what we're gonna to talk today about is how it's easy to freeze it and, and, and all that and how easy it is to make a tasting over here. But the point is, it's always you want to engage in the consumer, engage with them, talk about the product and let them know about the product, sample the product, of course, make the sale. But of course, get the consumer to follow our social media account. That is extremely, extremely, extremely important to make sure that they are not only making the sale today, but for the future, grabbing that as well and, and coming out of this. So let's, let's get right on to the idea of a tasting. Minis of how to freeze it. Let's, can you see my image as well? Or you only see my... We can see you as well as the presentation. Okay, perfect. So on the on, on, on each one, you, have, you got these minis. Um, you got these minis, it comes in a small bag like this. They're each in, each in, in these guys are 10 milliliter pouches. You pull it open, pull it out. You got 10 milliliters, small little pouches. These are, you take them, you drop them into a cooler and you put in some dry. So let's, we're gonna give you a small demonstration here exactly of how this goes down. I don't know if people have done it yet, but something like this, you got yourself a small cool, cool bag, any cooler bag will work. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything small, the smaller the better is. You can even take a, a champagne a champagne basket, something which you can uh, put in the cocktail, in, into the, the ice pops into and drop the dry ice as well into it all free shortly. What I have over here is a simple piece of dry ice. Come, comes in a bag, small little thing. I'd say this weighs about a pound and a half, not even that much. Cost in the store, three bucks in the store. But this dry ice will freeze these ice pops in a, in a few minutes. It means you don't have to go and figure out, freeze it the night before, freeze it the day before, come in there frozen, worry about if it's in the car or not. You pick up one of these guys, your stuff are frozen in 15 minutes and it'll last you out the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole tasting. So you're gonna normally get them in blocks like this. And if you want to freeze it quickly, if you want to keep it frozen for a while, you may want to keep it with it in a large block because this large block will last a while. But if you want to freeze it very quickly, you just take the, drive, the block. I'm actually on a carpeted surface, so I'm just going to make the presentation run over here and go over here, drop it on a hard surface. And now you got yourself some small little mini pieces. These mini pieces are negative 108 degrees. So uh, think about these. Don't touch them with your hands. Try as much as you can not to. And if you do, don't do it for a period of time. You take him, in the, it's still in the back that I'm driving in. 
I'm gonna drop it into the cooler. Again, you can touch the bag that is surrounding in it. Don't touch the actual ice. The actual ice will burn you. You can use gloves if you'd like. And where can we get the ice? That kind of that in, in one moment. And again, you can see it on the screen that I have shown a little bit, but here, I'm just gonna walk through this because we're once this is in here, I'm gonna show you how quick it is to freeze. You take them in here, drop them in there. Anyone can see over there, the dry ice in there. You have a blow in it because it's just cool when it all smokes up. You close it up in a few minutes, this will all be frozen. You're talking about 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. They're gonna start all freezing here and there. You can get little small pieces that are frozen already. Give it a little shake. We'll set this to the side. Now, the dry ice can be found in a lot of liquor stores, in a lot of grocery stores. And depending on some areas, there are some chemical stores that sell it. So the best way to find dry ice, what I recommend is by simple Google dry ice near me. That's the first thing you wanna go, dry ice near me. Where do they sell dry ice near me? I did attach over here two different links. And again, Kellyanne will sell that and send that an email of Penguin Dry Ice where to buy. That is a brand of dry ice that, that will give you stores of where to purchase it, as well as another link that will give you another also database of Per, of customers that they sell to that you can purchase it. You're talking about dry ice runs between a dollar ten and two bucks a, a pound. Three pounds can do it, but here, here and there you're gonna find them only coming in big blocks. They may be five pounds, whatever it is. That will make the, the tasting extremely more, um, much easier, much um, and and definitely much better because those 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 minis are gonna defrost. If you don't have that dry ice, they're gonna defrost. It's just a matter of when. But with this dry ice. This can last three hours with no problem. So this dry ice is a simple thing to, to buy. The problem is always is, is always going to be figuring out where to buy it and the timing of from when to buy it to, to, to get to the place. Normally, if it's a big block, it should last throughout the day in a cooler bag. Shouldn't be a big deal. But here in the air, let's say it's closed on Sunday or something like that. You have to find a place that's open on Sunday. Sometimes here and there can be challenging. Um, I always recommend to call before you go. Uh, number one, um, number one to make sure they have. Number two, they're open. And just because it says online that they have dry ice, these stuff are not. They're not, you know, brick and mortar stores which are selling dry ice here and there. The guy just doesn't show up for work today, and you're left out to dry, um, literally. So that's the. Um, th so I would always recommend that. There are multiple times, multiple places. It's just a matter of finding them and in your area and finding that 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 sweet spot that gets it done. Um, I want to talk about what is cool. We went a little bit about it. And, and you know, when, you, when you're engaging with the consumer, when you're having this conversation, I want to bring out some features of what Kulu is. Kulu is a shelf stable ISO that we spoke about, the freezing of frozen alcoholic cocktail. We focused on the, the high quality branded product, easy to serve without any glass, easy to throw in your freezer. What stands out is our texture. You're going to see, especially when it's frozen with dry ice, it's re it's a real uh, it's a real easy sale there because when it fries when it freezes with dry ice, it'll be even better texture than your standard freezer. It's extremely extremely soft. When it's frozen in your freezer, it's also soft, but just not as as soft. You're gonna you're gonna feel it almost like small little pieces in your mouth, like almost like a Rita's or uh, Italian ice or something like that. All the cocktails have it's bold, authentic cocktail flavors. It's 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 bursting with flavor, and it's not too high spirit because you want it to be you know nice and enjoyable. But it's real spirits, and what you're going to see about it, the packaging, it literally shines. It's something which sticks out and something which is branded very very nicely, very very appealing. And we have the cool flavors. Currently, we have pina colada, gin and tonic, Cosmo, Paloma, and Mai Tai. We just released now in New York and New Jersey, the new flavors that do not come in minis. Those new flavors um, we do have are Paradise Island, Happy Bay Twist, Strawberry Daiquiri, and a Mojito. Strawberry Daiquiri and Mojito are pretty, are pretty straightforward what they are. Um, Paradise Island and Happy Bay Twist are actually not straightforward. Those are uh, new, um, freshly blended cocktails. They are, these, are, these are stuff that I actually, uh, when before, before I made it cool, this was one of the first things that I really wanted to bring to market, but it took some time till we um, broke out and we finally were able to bring these two products to the market. The Paradise Island is going to be a pineapple, a, a, a sour lemon lime, and then it has a little bit coconut in the back, in the backdrop. I actually, uh, just this weekend, I was uh, shaking up the cocktail uh, myself 
and I'm like tasting it towards the pop exactly from the original to what it is now. And the focus of that blueness is to focus on really the Caribbean, um, Caribbean water. Um, that's the color of it. And then uh, it's a very refreshing drink, but it's tart. And I would say it's, it's a pucker. It's a pucker, so it's sour. And then you're gonna have the Happy Bay Twist, which is a uh, papaya. Um, when I originally got introduced to a papaya, I, I, you know, it, it was not that, it doesn't taste that great, but I found this interesting strain of papaya that we were able to bring into an awesome, real awesome cocktail. So again, we have a papaya, then we have a sweet lemon lime, orange background with, um, again, it's a vodka base. So those are the flavors that we have out there. All the, all the flavors are really, really bold. And again, cocktail feeling really, really awesome. Not only focused on the ice pop, more focused on the cocktail. Um, that's what we have over there. I'm gonna pull up right now. I'm gonna, how do I stop sharing this? I'm gonna pull up right now the, 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 the ice pops, those minis. And you're gonna see, They're literally just starting to freeze right now. Some of them are totally frozen. Some of them are not. And you pull them out. Each thing has a small little tear pad on the top. Shake them. And of course, that's good. That was gin and tonic. It's really good. What we do have also is, is um, uh, merch stuff that we can give away. These are pop sockets, small little pop sockets. You can uh, put in the back of your phone. Grabs like this actually holds up as a stand as well. I don't know if the camera's gonna get this, but if you put it your, uh, I don't know if the camera's gonna get this, but you put your phone down like that, holds it up. It's a really cool thing, but we, when we give it out, we want it to really engage with the consumer. We want the customer to realize this is a brand, we want them to follow the brand. Tell them, hey, follow social media account and we can give you, and I can give you something like that. That will be the best way of getting that because the most return on investment these people will now have on the back of the phone, remember that taste and then come back and purchase the product. Any questions? Yeah, I have one. All right. Uh, how, why, uh, what can we say when the consumer said that the kudo are too sweet? So here's what we're, so that, that is a very good, very interesting question. So the kudo eyes being too sweet. i pick this up, the volume here. The, the, the cool ice is, it, it is, one minute. One minute here, one second. You hear me? Yeah. One minute, one second. I, I just lost, give me one sec. Do you hear me? Everyone hears me? I think you hear me, but I don't hear you. Yes, we can hear you. So uh, if you hear me, let me just go. We, we can hear you. Can hear. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can yes, hear. Okay, sorry about that. Yes. Thanks. Okay, so in regards to the question about um, Kulu being too sweet. So we did have initial initial packaging in the boxes was much sweeter. And I'll give you a little bit of background about, about the reason why we did that is because we wanted it to be really soft. We did backtrack about 10% of sweetness in the, in the canisters when you see them in the canisters. That number one is going to contribute to them freezing better. They're going to freeze harder, not as soft, a little bit harder. And as well, that's going to and, and as well, that's going to contribute to the sweetness being a little bit less sweet. We have thought about bringing, um, even dropping that sugar even more. We're going to do that for next year. And the new flavors that you're going to come out, those will going to be also drop 10% from the last, fr from that already dropped percentage. So we're going to have, instead of 23 grams of sugar, you're going to have 21 grams of sugar, a drop of 10%, about three grams, about two and a half grams of sugar. I have two questions. Um, are the new flavors going to come in the combo pack? So they're going to be only separate. And how can we get the giveaways? Because I have some stores where we do tastings or we try to promote Kula all the time. So how can we get the giveaways? All right. So on the, on the, on the first one, the, the new combo pack is only going to come in a, um, in, a, uh, in a combo pack for now. It's a limited summer release. We're just trying to get those flavors out there. Having a compact and easy SKU on the shelf, not have another four new flavors, which is going to be difficult on the, sh on the store shelves. 
we want one 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 combo pack and once we see what what the better sales sales are once we see from the feedback what we like we can then go and say hey we're going to keep this flavor we're not going to keep this flavor or we'll bring this back for summer we'll keep these flavors for winter um, that's number one. In regards to getting those, those giveaways, that's something that Kellyanne will be able to, again, you can reach out directly to me also. I can send it to you, but Kellyanne can as well give them to you. Um, either way, either way works. Yeah, if you guys um, just send us an email and just let us know that you have tastings coming up. This is why it's good to actually book the tastings um, in advance. So that way, at least if we know, okay, we have like a tasting coming up in two weeks, that's more than enough time for me to send his, you know, your address over to him and he can mail it out directly to you. We have also T-shirts that can that you can have for the tastings um, and other and other stuff. We can make it happen again if we have if we have time to do that. We we will be able to do that. So I just want to clarify: the new flavors they're only in a combo pack. They're not Correct. individual. Okay, for that's now. what. Okay. For now. Thank you. Yes, and it's again you're going to see again again the sweetness is something that we, we that we have to tackle. Um, from thing, but overall, we're seeing extreme, extreme uh, uh, excitement behind the brand. Is something that people really are excited about. And again, as we adapt to, to you know, what we want to be is the most in between everyone to be able to make sure everyone is happy. So we want to be a crowd pleaser, five percent alcohol, not too high alcohol. We want to bring down the sugar content a little bit less to make that a crowd pleaser, pleasing item. Anyone else? We good? Yeah, so, so guys, guys, really nice meeting out with everyone um, as much as I can. To sorry, try get... I'm sorry, I, I could not mute. I had one more question. You mentioned the sugar, is there, so there is actually, because I do get that question. Sometimes um, customers want to know how much sugar is per pack. So what did you say it was 23? It's 23 grams. It's 23 grams per, 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 per pop. Okay. And you have 20, 115 calories per pop. If someone really wants to know, um, we do our, so we, we're alcohol. We don't have to put on the, on the packaging. We will yeah. be putting out next year. A, the reason why we did, we didn't do a sugar, you know, you see everyone else will have a low sugar or a calorie sense. It's, we didn't want to give up the tasting, the taste, when we went to sugar free, we wanted to take our time developing it correctly. Everything we do, we develop, we take our time developing it. We do plan on coming out next year with a low sugar content product. Low sugar, I'll say low calorie product. Where is the school of made from? Like, where is it made from? Where is it made or what's it made? So I'll, I'll talk about each flavor if you want for a second. Um, the It's made in, in America. It's made here in Lakewood, New Jersey, where, where our plant is in New Jersey. We make it from it's 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 very it's very it's straight it's spirits, natural flavors, sugar, and that's it and gums and water. It's 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 all natural flavors, nothing no no no, no artificial sweeteners. The only thing we do have is in some of them certified color. Again, once we go to a a, a lower calorie base, we would also do a a natural color. Um, the, we make each one made from different kind of spirit. For instance, the the, the, the gin and tonic is made. Um, my favorite, even though it doesn't sell the best, is made from a, from gin, which it actually is based off a of Tanqueray gin. It has still has that squeeze of lime inside. Just imagine you're drinking that gin and tonic. Yes, the ice pop's not going to be bubbly, but it had that squeeze of lime as if you had that garnishing of the lime on it. Uh, your Cosmo is going to be your basic cranberry triple sec, uh, and 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 that and, and vodka. That is, uh, that's base. It's, so that's a vodka base as well, the, um, a vodka base. Um, then you have the Paloma. Paloma is actually a tequila based cocktail. Te a Paloma is a grapefruit um, with um, grapefruit, uh, tequila, and uh, club soda. Again, you're not going to have the bubbles there. You're going to, but we're going to have a nice ruby grapefruit and a nice, a nice, a nice, uh, I would say a little bit tart lime. The lime over there is going to be a little bit tart, but we have that tequila flavor. It's actually interesting in 2018 when we came out with this, it was very difficult for us to source tequila because then it was the Mexican government and was giving a lot of issues of bringing in tequila. So we only were able to get vodka and we flavored it as if it was tequila. Um, so it says grain neutral spirit on the bottom, which is a, which when we're putting it in, it's got a grain neutral spirit. Then we have a Mai Tai and a Pina Colada. Pina Colada is a nice creamy coconut. 
and uh, uh, nice, nice creamy coconut, nice fruity uh, pineapple. That's going to be a rum based. Um, then we have the Mai Tai, also a rum based amaretto. Uh, um, uh, uh, le uh, it's going to be a sweet lime. And um, yeah, in that area. Then I'm just, did I miss the flavor? No, we got them all. Those are all the, all the original five flavors. But again, they're made locally in, in, in Jersey and we package them ourselves in our, at our facility and we have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, another question. Um, the giveaways will be sent to the store or to the girls? Either or, we can make it depending on what how what the timing is, what the and, and the scheduling is. We can send it to the girls or send it to the send it to the store, depending on how it's easy to get. How we can you know you know uh, make that work. Okay, the, I think that's something Kelly Ann would be more more would know a lot better. Yeah. So depending on the store, um, I just don't want to know that we mail it to the store and then the girl shows up for the tasting and nobody could find it. You know, so I think it would actually be a great idea for the girls to, you know, actually go to the store with it. So that way, you know, if there's any leftover, you can take it with you and then use it for another tasting at a different store. So mm -hmm. it would probably be best to, you know, be mailed directly to, um, to the tasters or to the agencies. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, that does make sense, Kalyan. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anything else? Looks so like that concludes. Listen, if anyone needs, needs help with anything, you can always reach out to me. Um, I'm here for the brand. And yes, if you said shoot me an email, I'm here to help. I'm here to make things work. Um, there is an idea, again, we, we've floated this idea with Kellyanne. I don't know exactly how we're gotten past, if it got past first base. But the idea was to have a place where we can pick up dry ice, where Kulu can supply dry ice at a location where people can pick it up. We're still looking into different ways. We want to make sure if you are in a location where dry ice is not so, um, is not so uh, I would say, accessible, uh, let me know and I'll try to work on something and make, make something, you know, either find the place or work, you know, to find an area where you can pick it up or something like that. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. Mm -hmm. thank you Amazing. and just thank a reminder you. this is going to be recorded so for the agencies if you had any tasters that were not able to log on at this moment um you know once i get the recording i'll send it out to you and that way you can forward it over to the other tasters that can make it at this time all right kelly and also we could talk about there is also a video like about the about the dry ice i don't know i sent it to you once in the past it's more focused on a sales rep than a taster but it's something which is, is it is informative and it can be used as well to show you how to freeze it and stuff like that for anyone who has missed it you can use that as well so for that also All right. and um a while ago i sent i i sent um you know the links and stuff to a couple of the tasters and agencies for where to get the dry ice and so but we'll make a complete right. list if anybody's on here and you didn't receive it yet i would um definitely forward it over to you yeah again i would like to also emphasize on that point always the simple easiest way is old school google dry ice near me because sometimes there's it's not on the directory and it's not on something like that and it's just that local guy named phil who's carrying it and you know and selling it for for a few bucks at the street corner and it's, it's always very very useful and um and that's and that's number one. If you can't find on directories, I would always go to there. That's my own number one starting spot. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Thank Thanks you. everyone for thank joining. You. And you heard a thank you so much for doing this thank call. You. We really appreciate it. Okay. At least we got some my questions pleasure. answered. <laughs> there you go. Any, yes. any more? Send them my way. I'm always here to answer. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right.